Alright, let's see if we can grill the townspeople for a location. Rib Guru, you're looking for ways to get out of paying taxes too? No idea. Rib Guru horns are a vital source of key. Key is uh, really important medicine. With the woman doctor and glasses with the white wolf puppy. Watch out, the magistrates in the city are evil. Not only do they take the tax from the citizens, they make travelers pay. Hmm. I guess the Empire likes to throw its weight around no matter where you go. Before I left the capital, I didn't know or care about anything besides the lower quarter. <laughs> It's not everywhere, but I feel like the Empire's influence is especially strong on Elikia. They can do whatever they want since there aren't any major guilds on Elikia. We can't just let it stay this way. <clears throat> oh, is that a stock? Uh, I guess regular townspeople are my goal here. Ribgaros are monsters, aren't they? The monster may have been pregnant. Recently, Ribgaros come out to breed when it rains. Oh, Ribgaros? They like dark places. That's why they only come out on rainy days. My apologies, the entire wharf's closed off. Alright. They like dark places, they breed during rainy times. You never could sit still, could you? Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri, you're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn. Witcher, go and see if we can get the right to search Blastia Laboratories. <sighs> I thought leaving the capital would have changed him a little, but it seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Yuri's so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. I envy him for that. But I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Right. We should be going now. Oh, by the way, Lady Estelle's. Yes? How... how is it, walking around outside, free? I can't say everything's been perfect, but... I realize that there are things I must do, and that makes me happy. It's been wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, Rita, what did Flynn mean about search and seizure rights to Blastia Laboratories? Oh, that. Basically, if you're on an official Imperial Blastia investigation, you can go anywhere you want. Are you serious? Why bust our butts when the Knights can do that? I don't think they can. There are plenty of exceptions that can block their authority. That sounds like what I've come to expect from the Empire. Yeah, too much red tape. Now, they said dark places. And when it's raining, so it's got to be an area where it's raining. Huh. Where the hell am I going to find this thing? Hmm, maybe it's over that hill. Maybe it starts raining there, too. It does. Alright. Could it be this big thing up here? Yes. This is Ribgaro. Oh man. All right, all right. Let's bring it. Yes, make him spin around and shit. What's <laughs> Taking you on a ride. This isn't over yet. We must meet with the magistrate. Come on, 
Let's take it back with us. It's covered in scars and bruises. I feel kind of sorry for it. I reckon it's been attacked by desperate townspeople quite a few times. It's not the people in town's fault. No, I understand. Yuri? The horn is what's so valuable, right? This will be enough to satisfy that money grubbing magistrate. Wow. It's not like you to show pity to a monster. While you guys are busy talking, the monster's getting up. What? Why did it run away? Okay. It understood what we were thinking. The monster did? Seriously? Hey, we got the horn. Who cares either way? Golden Horn. Now that was surprisingly easy. At first I was worried like, hmm, might be hard to figure out where this thing is, but no. Just head out into the overworld where it's still raining. Leave me alone. You pirate bastards! When I least expected it. Don't get sloppy. I'm gonna unleash my big moves. I don't know why I blew that on that guy. Like, what, what the fuck am I doing? Just getting a little too excited. Let's get in this town. Again, after that girl went through the trouble of healing your wounds. Where are you off to with that dangerous weapon? That's no business of yours. I can't have you sticking your nose into my affairs just because you're curious. This is... Sorry for stealing your thunder back at the end. Maybe this will make it up to you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Uh, hold on! You're just giving it to them? It's a small price to pay if it saves their child's life. You were planning on doing this from the beginning, weren't you? Nope. It just came to me. You do realize that you just gave away our gift for the Magistrate, right? Now what'll we do? No worries. We'll just find some other way to get into the Magistrate's place. Shall we see how Flynn's doing then? Yeah! Maybe he's even gotten into Rago's palace already and set things straight! Yeah, that sure would be nice. Let's go pay a visit to the inn. This is the end. For some reason, my brain went, the inn is at the Magistrate's place. You're looking chipper as always, Flynn. I've got a lot on my mind, Yuri. Not that you'd know what that's like. <laughs> Managed to go out and get your bounty raised even higher? I thought you went to the Magistrate's place. I went, along with a search warrant from the Blastia Research Lab. Ah, so you were able to go inside and look around. No, the Magistrate refused us entry. Why? He even tried to provoke us. If you really think I have Blastia, try to bust your way in, he said. He knows we don't have the jurisdiction to do that. He's just making a mockery of us. Well, isn't he right? What did you say? Yuri, whose side are you on? It's not a matter of whose side I'm on. If you think you're right, you should force your way inside. No, it's a trap. Rago wants the Imperial Guard to make a mistake so he can use it as an excuse to increase the authority of the Council. If we go in now, he'll hide the evidence and feign innocence. Is Magistrate Rago on the Council as well? Yes. The Imperial Knights and the Council are both essential organizations that support the Empire. But Rago seems to have forgotten this fact. So in short, we're not dealing with your everyday magistrate here. Well, have you got a plan for what you're doing next? 
What, you're out of ideas? If there were some sort of disturbance inside the palace, the Imperial Knights would be able to move in under the pretense of emergency prerogative. Ah, yes. The Imperial Knights may employ emergency prerogative to intervene in emergency situations, regardless of jurisdiction. Of course. So if a thief snuck in and caused a ruckus, that'd be enough? Yuri, I know you want to help, but... But I shouldn't do anything reckless, right? I've just received a tip that a fugitive with a warrant out for his arrest is trying to get into the Magistrate's palace. <laughs> right you are. Right you are. I also didn't uh, make note of it. But uh, I, I really like how you get a skit where Yuri's like, man, seems like it even after he left, uh, left Zafius. Flynn is still, like, even more uptight than he was before. To which Flynn, in a separate conversation, says, Man, Yuri's even more reckless now that he's left the fucking Zafias. It's like the same thing. They both think they're going in the complete other direction even more so. I love stuff like that. Alright, let's beat some dudes up and break in there. This place seems to get bigger every time I look at it. Are members of the council really that important? The Council is a body of nobles which aids in the political administration of the Empire. Which means they basically represent the Empire's interests. Huh, you don't say. So what about getting inside? Shall we see if there's a back entrance? Tough luck. Place is surrounded by a wall, and there's no getting inside unless you can clear it. You won't last long if you go screaming in a spot like this, your ladyship. I'm sorry, but who are you? What do you mean? Me and the kid there are old friends, right, pal? <laughs> what, from like episode one? What are you looking at? I barely know this guy. Now, now, don't be like that. What about the fun times we had in jail, Mr. Yuri Lowell? Huh? I don't remember telling you my name. See? You're a celebrity, Yuri. So what's your name, mister? Huh? Ah, right. I suppose Raven will do for now. For now, huh? Who the hell does this guy think he is? Well, Raven, it's been lovely seeing you again. Now buzz off. Ah, oh, come on. You're trying to get into the palace, right? You just leave it up to old Raven. Shouldn't we stop him? Actually, he pulled a trick like this that helped me get out of the castle. Really? Well, then maybe we can trust him. I'd like to hope so. Uh, they're coming over here. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but, but why? <laughs> Wait till I get my hands on him! No one uses me as a diversion! There she goes again with the magic! Now what? Now we go inside, what else? We just got rid of the guards and all. Whoa, not the front door. Let's see if we can get in from the side. Hey there! Hey, hey, so we meet again. Glad to see you're okay. Catch you later! Wait! Down? Oh, I don't believe this. You can't control it from down here. Ugh. Something smells rank. Blood, along with something else? It smells rotten. I wonder if he's into raising monsters, too. Could be. He had Ribgaro after all. Uh, uh, help me! Uh, what was that? What is this place? It sounds like someone's there. Let's go. Yeah, this dude doesn't seem like a very good guy. Hey, you. Bring that raven creep to me right now. Huh? Why do I have to do that? 
You're friends with him, right? I told you I hardly know the guy. Oh, really? You met him in jail, right? That's pretty shady if you ask me. I can't really argue with that. I think he's kind of strange, but he didn't seem bad to me. I don't think he's all that good either. Oh, we have some chests. I'll take that. Uh, ah! Oh no! This is a surprise encounter encounter like. It's okay, we're learning things. Yeah, use all those cool moves. I am very proud of all those moves you're learning, mainly because Carol hasn't been in the party and I used a level up thing, so he had things to learn. How about you? Now that's finally a sword. I prefer I prefer swords a bit more traditional over uh over the other stuff. I li I, I like Yuri being able to like hold the sword by the string. It looks a bit better than uh him just holding an axe. Also, a lot of those scenes in which he's parrying, like, Flynn's attacks look a little jank when he's holding, like, an axe and parrying with, like, the wood handle. This looks easy. Don't let him trip you up. Oh, so I've also switched it so that items being used by my party members are set to allow instead of, uh, cancel. This just makes sure that the party doesn't just... If I'm not paying attention, spams items, so I have to engage with it. Which helps out quite a bit. Makes it so that I'm going to lose all my items a lot slower. Don't need everything to just disappear immediately. Ah! Bones! <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. Can you tell me what happened? A scary old man brought me here. He said it was because Papa and Mama couldn't pay their taxes. Do you think that this is the kid from before? How horrible. All of these bones. Could the monsters have done this? Papa, Mama. It's okay. Everything's okay now. What's your name? Polly? Come on, Polly. Be a big boy. No more crying. You'll see your mom and dad soon. Okay. Man, the monsters immediately spawned in. We'll see if we can find a way out of the monster-infested catacombs, maybe? Seems like we need a wolf key. I say that because it looks like it was indented. Also, this turned into Resident Evil. <laughs> oh no! Thankfully, we don't have to do any escort for the kid. He we just put him in our pocket. <laughs> That's how you solve all your problems. I just like the uh, imagine just as, as soon as the hands as soon as the hands combine as soon as they they collide just an explosion happens and they lose both their arms it's an unfortunate thing that our two girls lost their arms in a high-fiving incident I'm gonna go ahead and leave I'm a leave I'm a leave don't you touch me how dare you? I asked you so nicely not to touch me. Kotaro, a dagger inspired by a ninja legend. The sheath is designed to store other secret weapons. Oh man. Alright, alright. 
I guess I'll clear out some of these guys. That's a lot of years. Small key. I guess this is the key that we were looking for. Let's go ahead and cure that. And refresh everybody's TP just a little bit. And, uh, holy bottle. And let's go to repeat and give him... Hmm, that's also new, I think. Eh, whatever. Kotaro is what they want us to use. So that is what we will use. This holy bottle will keep the enemies away for a little bit so we can focus on making a little bit of progress. I want to talk a little bit about this game's pacing. Because so far, this game's pacing has been basically perfect on the level of stuff like Dragon Quest XI for me, in that... We are constantly reaching new areas. The plot is progressing so quickly. I just wanted to point out that I think it's really good. That's it. <laughs> just some, some games I feel like meander on certain locations and stuff for a very long time. And this game is not doing that. Like, we are continuing to go to new areas. Uh, and things are continuing to develop. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. We're off to find somewhere else. Way to have trap doors. Hmm. I'll have to go to this room over here. Maybe this has the key again. Since they're doors with wolves on them, I have to imagine that they're all tied to uh, these enemy types. All right, we're gonna have to gonna have to use a dark bottle. This is what I get. This is what I get for 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 my loyalty. My loyalty to the law. Repeat. <sighs> You will give me this key. Getting tired of your shit, Wolf. I've noticed that that, that shockwave move I do a lot sometimes doesn't hit when something's getting up. That's bullshit. How dare they? How dare they? Yeah, crushing eagle. I have to make sure not to hit that whenever they're uh, whenever they're getting up because they are invincible a little bit. Yeah, no key. I'm guessing the key has to be in the room that I unlocked then, because otherwise I don't know what to do. I think we're doomed otherwise. They're like, ah, oh, shit. That dude's glowing with dark energy. Fine. I'll get you both at once. Don't get careless. Ah, damn it. Realized I can't link arts together if I run out of TP. Give me that pineapple. Yeah. There. Small wolf key. Let's, uh, quickly use the, not the life bottle, the holy bottle.
This whole thing with the keys breaking is kind of hilarious. The fact that he would devise a dungeon like this. Well, well, what do we have here? More delicious snacks for my pet, it seems. So you're a girl. You've got some pretty disgusting hob hobbies. Oh, you must mean my basement. Only someone with my refined sensibilities could understand the pleasure I derive from such things. You're just like those senile old fools on the council. They bored me to death and never let me enjoy myself. It's the privilege of my exalted station to dispel such boredom with the help of the common people. You can't mean that's your only reason to do those things. Well, I suppose I should go and fetch Ribgoro. So many new toys. He had to put on quite a show. Though you may not live long enough to see it. There's no point in searching for Ribgoro. We've already taken care of him. What did you say? Are you deaf? I said we've already taken care of him. You... what have you done to my pet? If you had put a bell on it or something, maybe you wouldn't have lost track of it. Ah, oh, well... with a bit more money, I'll soon be able to replace him. Rago! How can you say such things and still call yourself a servant of the Empire? What? You? But that's impossible! Holy shit! What do you intend to do? Someone! Arrest these intruders! We'll have enemies all over the place if we don't hurry up and finish what we came to do. Hold it. What? Don't we need to create an emergency for the knights to respond to? It's still too soon. First, we need some evidence. We've got to find the Blastia that controls the weather. Well, that was simple enough. We got our way in. And... We, we made that dude look like a fool. Here, I was thinking he was going to be on the other side of the cage. The uh, other side of this gate. And we'd have to find a route through here. Because, you know, I didn't know if there's a room over here. But no, Yuri just knows how to take care of business. Blast open the gate and scare the shit out of this dude. The game continues to uh, blow my expectations out of the water. But that being said, we're going to end this episode with that. Next time on Let's Play Tales of Vesperia, we will try to gather some evidence and take Rago down. Until next time, everyone.